Hi there, your name is Nico, and in this video, I'll be teaching you how to be the newest Pierce Fiction Stage 4 Lexical Enigma. So, this stage or this newest Pierce Fiction is the effect is increases a dot taken by enemy targets by 50%. Enemy targets that receive dot have their damage dealt reduced by 35%. After they are attacked, their action is advanced forward by 35%. So, this one is obviously about dot and i'll go over the specific buffs as well here right now so there's three uh buffs that you can choose from first one is rebuttal when enemy targets are defeated the dots on them have a 100 percent base chance to be transferred to all enemies argument after enemy targets enter battle they become afflicted by wind shear at the start of every turn they receive a set amount of wind dot and inflict wind shear on themselves and adjacent enemy targets and then verification, which is when three or more characters follow the path of nihility or in the team, increase all allies and damage dealt by 60% and speed by 30%. So as this, you can tell, this is all favored by dot characters and specifically the buff about nihility. So if you filter by nihility, the characters that have dots on them, the and are nihility are Kafka, Black Swan, Winifen, Sampo, and Luca. Akron technically applies a little bit of, I think, a lightning or like a shock, but not like that's not really where her main damage is. Like Silver Wolf, it's Quantum. Same with Welt is Imaginary. Those don't actually apply any dots. Kayla, and it's Ice. There's no dots with that as well. So there's only five. Uh, dot characters that are nihility in the game other like dot characters would be like serval who's actually erudition and not nihility i just mentioned nihility because of the third one which is honestly in my opinion the best buff out of this but of course you can really only run this for one side i i tried doing it with two sides but it's just i don't have luca built at all or sampo which you guys can't see you can see they're my lowest damage down here where i was talking about them it's kafka black swan guinefen sampa luca the five characters that have dots on them that are nihility i don't have sampa or luca built at all and yeah i have kafka black swan but of course i'm going to use them on the same team especially for these lineups so yeah first boss we have is kafka and the enemies are all except for kafka herself everyone's weak to fire kafka is also weak to wind which is a few wind enemy weaknesses most of them are weak to physical except for like this one dude in the sky so uh you're looking for like a physical fire team which for the first half and then second half is swarog which is weak to fire lightning and wind which most of the enemies are weak to uh, lightning and wind some are also weak to fire and some are just weak to like this guy's only weak to quantum this guy's weak to imaginary but this side's really easy in my opinion for this one so the first half is the one i struggle with personally i normally don't like doing these videos until i get 80k side to show you guys how to get like a perfect run but i don't think i can get it without adventuring i've heard people use the team which i'm gonna which you can see here is i use clara gallagher robin topaz if you have adventuring i believe you can probably get 40k because of how much the advanced forward helps with him. I don't have him, again, myself to verify this, but I asked a friend who does have a venturing, and that's what she told me, that the advanced forward helps him do a lot more damage, and he also does a lot of damage himself. And you also help trigger Numbi attack more, which means, yeah. So it's just, a adventure is just so good for pure fiction. I'm unfortunate that I don't have him. I know he might be... And he's also imaginary, which Kafka is weak to, and a few of the other enemies, specifically the present inebriated in Rovery, which is the biggest pain in the butt for the side because it applies a dot on you, and that's why you need a healer or a or adventuring who can just build enough shields that the dot doesn't matter. Same with Jepard, but I wouldn't really recommend Jepard. Adventuring is definitely, I'd say, like S tier for side one if you have them with a follow up attack team using clara topaz just because again physical and fire weakness you can also do himiko instead of clara on the side if you don't have clara built and you have a well-built himiko 
Robin is here to buff all the follow-ups. She's the best option here. If you don't have her, um, you're using her on May for the second half, so it's you I'd have to say probably use Ting Young and just make sure Clara has her alt the whole time because this advanced forward allows the enemies to attack very often, which allows Clara to follow use her follow-up attack a lot. So the more alt time you have with her, the more damage she'll be doing in AoE versus single target. So Ting Young's not, not a bad choice. I did try using Ting Young instead of Topaz. It didn't work out just because my Topaz obviously does more damage as well, and she's fire, which helps clear enemies, but it is what it is. This side, the only buff option you have is Argument, because there's no dots on this team. Well, technically, the Alger applies dots, and actually Topaz technically applies burn as well, but it's not like enough to warrant using, um, like transferring to other enemies, in my opinion. Um, like it's the dot damage is not worth it. So other teams you could use, you can do it. I don't have Argenti, unfortunately, I can't test them uh, because I don't have them. He is a very well. He's like I mean, he's a physical character that does AOE, so he's just good in that sense. Maybe doing like a I don't Argenti, Tang Yang, Huo Ho. Because you're you're gonna need a healer for first half, so Huo Ho is great she can cleanse as well and also gives energy to the team and then maybe like bronia to buff argenti if argenti can do enough damage like thing is again not at all enemies are weak to physical but most of them are like this guy's so easy to kill the frost spawn like who cares the grunt pretty easy it's not as easy as the frost spawn but it's easy enough and then yeah these two are just like and eh, they'll die eventually to aoe Otherwise, again, I said Heming Co and Zen Clara. That, that's really it at this time. Um, I was like, I think Sam is coming out. Is Sam? No, it's Boot Hill. Boot Hill might, Boot Hill might be okay. The thing is, he's single target, so that's why I'm like, I wouldn't really recommend him. For pure fiction. <laughs> um, so, but he is physicals, which. It maybe he'll work. We'll have to see how he is. He's not in game yet, so. Uh, the second half, this is an easy um, Akron, Kafka, Black Swan. Braun May team clears it very easily, especially with the verification buff, which is when three or more. I already said. If, the, if three or more characters are on Path of Nihility, their damage is increased by 60% and their speed, and which is why you have Akron, Kafka, Black Swan. Alternatively, if you don't have Akron, you can just do Kafka, Black Swan. Gwynefen, Kafka, Black Swan, Sampo. Uh, those are the two I'd mainly recommend because they both have dots and they actually are the weakness types of the enemies on the team. Um, otherwise, you could just do like Asta. You can do like Kafka, Black Swan, Asta, and then just take the rebuttal buff. That's completely fine too if you don't have three Nihility characters. And. Uh, you could even do Pela, honestly, because half the Black Swan will probably do so much damage that doesn't really matter. I still think Winifan would be your best option for the third option, followed by Sampo. And I just use Rame here. Like, you don't need a healer for second half. There's no character that applies dots on you. Rame just lets you clear faster, and you pretty much will have no damage taken until wave three because you clear it so quickly with this team. Just because how strong the verification buff is, you're you're so fast and do so much damage. So yeah, if you don't have them again, my my recommendations whenever I see a wind lightning team is like a Jing Yuan Blade, Ruan Mei dual DPS setup with again, you don't really need a healer for that. So if you have Ruan Mei, you could probably even just use like Ting Young to buff or maybe like Bronya or Sparkle. I keep forgetting about Sparkle because I don't have her. So one of those characters would be fine, and then you just have to take Argument as your buff option because you don't have any dots on that team, really. I mean, Jango one kind of buys Shock as well. Just That's kind of how it is with most of the Lightning characters. They do incidentally apply a dot on them, but it's not like their main source of damage. So yeah, that's what I'd say for my recommendations. We'll go over some 
I'll show actually I'll show you what some, some of my friends have done who are like three stars. Uh, you can see three starred with Ting Young, Himiko, Luo Chogwina Fan first half, and then of course Kafka, Black Swan, Ruan Mei, Gallagher. You don't even need Gallagher, I'm gonna be honest. If you have just the third dot, it'd be fine. And then this team is just a another follow up Himiko, Clara, Topaz. You just put on the same team, that's probably fine. And then you have Links as your debuffer. And then here's 3 9 Hility, Kafka, Black Swan, Gwyneth, and Fen with your choice of healer. Uh, Ruan May would be definitely better than Bailu, but if you don't have Ruan May, feel free to slot a healer in there. But again, this lineup, if you don't have Acheron, is perfectly valid, as I said. Okay, with that in mind, I'll just go for my stats real quick. I mean, if you've seen my videos before, it, my stats are mainly the same <laughs> over time. So, I have not much to comment. Clara has her own link tone. You can just use the free option from the hurt from Simulated Universe, Max Traces, 4 piece Physical, 2 piece and Nerd Sol Soto, which is the follow up set. And she is E2. E2, as I've mentioned every time in my videos, uh, plays a bit differently. Same with E1. If you don't have E1, you're going to have to basically. You, you're gonna have the basic attack on your turn, which is really unfortunate. You just, it's because you lose the follow up attack, and because this particular pure fiction revolves around advancing the enemy's actions forward, and not you having the mark on them, is you're losing so much damage, it, even more than like the skill. So, it's really unfortunate if you don't have E1. It's like, in my opinion, the most important Eidolon. E2, this is really like not as important. If you have good alt up time, like every other turn alt up time, it doesn't matter. But if you don't, what you want to do is if you have your ultimate in hand, you hold it until right before the enemies attack or mainly right after you use your turn. Because if you use your ultimate before her turn, it'll actually count as an action or like a turn. So it'll go from two to the one immediately. It's kind of dumb that way, but that's how it is. I just always specify it if you play her. Gallagher again, Woho is honestly better here because you can keep Claire's ult uptime, but I don't have Woho unfortunately. I lost that 50 50 to Bailu actually, and this is his best like on my understanding. The break effect one that's what I use, just standard build two piece, uh, break effect two piece speed on him with the fleet of ages that buff attack. The attack buff's kind of not as needed for Clara. It's mainly for Topaz because Topaz's attack is so low. He is E4, um, but it doesn't really matter. Luoch is, again, probably better here. I just don't have any other option. Uh, Robin, I finally got her attack up decently just because I actually got a good orb compared to last time. Still haven't done the event, but the event light cone is your best option. This is the battle pass light cone, which is fine if you don't haven't finished the event like me. Uh, max traces. Ideally, you max these three. Your basic attack literally does not matter at all. You you rarely are going to be basic attacking. And then you want two piece attack set, two piece attack set with. I'm using broken heal here. The increased crit damage for everyone, and having the effect res is also very helpful. Um, actually, I didn't show you stats here. Actually, her effect res is not even 30% yet, so it's technically useless at this point in time. Um, so. That's literally on me. I'd have to actually choose a different rope. Let's see. Do I have one with a lot of effect res on it? I didn't even realize. That's um, broken keel. Nope, I have none with any. Okay, well, that's 100% on me. Do I even have any options here? I assume the answer is no. This has some effect res on it. But then I have to change gloves. This is effective. Man, it's. I don't even know why I've saved this one. I'm gonna be honest with you. Anyways, technically I should, I should just switch. Honestly, if I'm not gonna use that, we're gonna switch here real quick. <laughs> Is something that is useful, so we'll just do Fleet of Ageless. Um, yeah, we're using Gallagher. We're not using Fushuen. Sure. 
to seal Fushman's throne, and then you're using Ruan Mei. Now using Fushman again, so we can just steal that from her. There we go. We're going to fleet, fleet of Ageless. I probably, I really would use Broken Keel here if you have um, the 30% effect res. I just don't for my pieces. She's E0. Uh, Topaz, as you see, Topaz is my most well built and most spent on character. So <laughs> she is most likely you guys won't have her as well geared. Her lone like down max everything. Four piece follow up attack set, two piece in her Salsoto, and she's E2, which I said she's my most spent. So E2 honestly doesn't really matter that much. E1 is the big important one. This is probably one of the biggest damage increased light cones or Eidolons out there, which increases follow up damage, crit damage by 50%. And also applies a debuff. Very good if you can get it. Acheron is also very well built too for me. She could definitely be a tad bit better because I'm not on her own personal light cone. Max traces but her basic tank which you never use anyway and I say she could be better if I get four piece Pioneer but at this time I'm looking for a better chest piece that's literally it. I'm, I'm just holding out for a chest piece. <laughs> um, as, you can, as I've shown this chest piece is just very well statted. Three rolls attack or two Three rolls attack, one roll crit damage. You really can't roll better than that. I mean, obviously the reverse would be better, but still very good. Yeah, and Eidolon is E0 at this time. I will be getting her Eidolons eventually. Kafka, Meteor, I'd say this is like an average Kafka. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, this is the best four star like going for her. Good night suit well. Max traces, except for basic attack, which you should never use anyway. Four piece band of sizzling thunder, two piece space stealing. This is the old meta for her. I just have not gone around to get the new set, which is the same as Black Swan has, which you'll see in a second. And no Eidolons. Here's Black Swan's build. Uh, Person of Light Cone as well. Only eight. I'm working on getting her to 10. I finally got Kafka to 10 the other day. This is what Kafka wants is the four piece. Prisoner in Deep Confinement, two-piece Glam Off. Uh, ideally, once you hit like certain speed thresholds, my black my Kafka is not fast enough to actually hit these thresholds. An E zero, and then last and but not least is Ron May. You can see her stats that one almost 160 break effect, which is what you kind of want. She's 0.7 off, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, max everything. I don't need the max for basic attack. Like it doesn't matter. Um, two piece speed, two piece break effect with Fleet of Ages because I always run around dot teams, so they only care about attack. And of course, no Eidolons. Now that you've seen all the stats for my characters, let's just jump into it. I've tried the first run multiple times. As I said, I was trying to get a 40k run for you guys, but I just think I can't with the characters I have, which is fine. You don't hey, need you. 40k Time to check your books. as it's more of a flex. Um, always use Clara's here, not Gallagher's technique, because you want the aggro. Focus on Clara for the follow-up attacks. Harmony and I will move myself at this point in time, because no one wants to... People want to see the, the turn order and stuff. So, what you're going to do is move Topaz onto this guy. Make sure you spam your ultimate. Because if you use her technique, you get a bunch of energy after your first attack. That's what you got. Uh, you're basically just gonna basic attack with him. But notice the turn order, by the way. This is very important for this particular pure fiction. Is the turn order changes on who you attack because if they have a dot on them, which they all do, with the particular buff I chose, you're gonna advance forward the action. This guy, you do not want to advance forward. He does so much damage. I like doing this one because I hope that it'll attack Clara and also I hope to break them a little bit. Which he does attack Clara. Which is very nice for me. If you don't have E1, you're gonna basic attack here. It's unfortunate. But that's just how it is. And you need one more hit from it. Hopefully on Clara. Yep, to hit alt. Hit alt immediately because there's a bunch of enemies in the way of you before your next turn. And this will also increase aggro on her, which is perfect. And also, one of her races allows her to remove debuffs if hit. It's like 30, 
5% chance, which helps especially against this boss. So she's going to be removing debuffs all by herself, which is very nice. Again, notice the turn order is being flipped around depending on who I make attack here. Um, since I don't want this guy to attack first, we're going to hit him. Let his guy hit Clara, and then we're going to immediately ult with Robin. Then we're going to immediately just use the skill. This is going to advance his forward his action, unfortunately. The reason why this guy is is that he... Um, since it's not going to advance his forward the action... You can see we are advancing forward. We can hit this guy and advance forward the action. We're actually going to just use Gallagher's attack here. Indulge yourselves! You can ult immediately because you just attacked, so you get the. If you have E2, this is what you do. Or even without E2, you can just ult there. Okay, this. Okay, the Trotter is the very important aspect of this because the Trotter can actually escape because you're advancing forward its action so much. Uh, so just make sure you break it if you are going to attack the Trotter, which with Gallagher, you guarantee break it. With his enhanced skill, I'm just letting you know. Um, Charles, technically, this is the best guy to hit. Uh, unfortunately, none of them are gonna advance except for this one to the next turn. So we'll just hit the Trotter. It's fine. We break them, so it's not like it's gonna run away. And then, oh yeah, positioning wise, make sure you put Gallagher or your whatever healer eventually beside Clara because Clara's gonna get hit very often. And these guys have AoE attacks, so you don't want to put Rob in there because she's gonna take more damage than necessary. And we just break them. So yeah, as I said, if you had Wolho, you should have a lot more uptime on Claire's ult than I am, which, again, this is like probably like the least optimal healer to <laughs> see. Well, not the least. I tried using Lynx. Lynx doesn't do enough damage. Okay, we ult here. Okay, just hit- okay, so for this one, what you want to do is hit the guy that's like in the middle to advance forward his turn. So that he'll hit Clara, so you can bounce onto the Trotter. This is second, technically second best, but you're missing some damage from Clara by doing that. This is the worst option. This is tied with the hitting this guy because then you hit these two, but you want to do damage to the Trotter, so you're gonna hit this guy. We're actually going to alt. Uh, with Gallagher, we need to heal our team and just get some break on them anyway. I said, with this one having dots on it is on these guys makes you need like some healer or shielder. Again, Venturi is your best option for this team. Ah, oh, he's not dead yet. At least Numbi's gonna kill him. This is a little bit awkward for, for, for teams. <laughs> we'll hit him. Stay back, Clara. I'm not afraid of you. Okay, so... Okay, this is going to be specific timing for your ultimate for Robin right now. After Kafka attacks, you, you want to basically get a bonus turn because this is about to hit turn zero up here. Time to do um, Robin will pull everyone up right before the turn ends. So you're going to use your ult as soon as Kafka gets her second attack in. This is very crucial um, because you, you want to, again, use as least amount of time as possible. So we're going to hold it. Um, unfortunately, we're going to advance forward the past guy, but nothing we can do about it. Hide. And I like putting this on Kafka, but you're going to switch it 
Uh, okay, I tried putting this in Kafka before. The good thing about it is you get Kafka down very low very quickly because you're going to keep advancing forward Kafka over and over again. Um, the only problem is, is the fact that uh, you can't kill her the until you kill all the uh, ads. You're ready. Um, so she's stuck at 1% and then you're going to have to use Topaz as a skill to like switch over to kill the other guys. But in terms of damage, since I can't get 40k with this team, this is actually the best option to do. So we're going to swap them on to, to Kafka. Not so fast. Stay back, Clara. Because of the person guy. Oh, oh shit, okay. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake. I'll let you know. By using Robin's ult, you actually push Numbi's turn back. So you actually want to use Robin's ult after Numbi attacks. So this was a mistake on my part uh, because Numbi's now pushed all the way down. Because when you advance forward everyone's turn, you exclude where Numbi is. <laughs> so, um. And see, you can advance forward no one else's action but this guy, this guy, but it's fine. We're just gonna basic attack. We get Kafka to attack with and Claire has her ult and hit all the ads. See how how Kafka's actions is already advanced back up because Numbi is on her and she's already at 50% HP, so... <laughs> You're just gonna be advancing everyone's turn order to hit Clara. Are you all right? And the follow-up attack even helps you too. Stay back, Clara. It's great. To Clara, Clara, Clara is very, very good on this one in my opinion because of this advance forward. The enemies attack so often. We have to ult with Gallagher soon because our guys are gonna take so much damage. We're just going to advance people's action forward. We're going to have to move Numbi soon because Kafka's low. Well, as I move next turn. These were... Because Kafka's at 3%. She'll be stuck at 1% until we get all the ads. So she's gonna be stuck here. As you can see, she has like this magical shield. So this is just dumb now. We're just wasting all this damage on her. As I said, it's not as ideal. And that's why we gotta move. All those wasted damage. <laughs> But you get Kafka attacks so often and then Claire just sits her. It's funny. Okay, we move you now because you're wasting your turn on on Kafka. Let's see if we can advance forward any of these guys' actions. Yeah, we can advance this one forward. Okay, now Kafka's gonna attack. Ready. That's fine, we do AoE onto the other guys too. Because these guys don't actually hit. This is a little unfortunate. But you can see, it actually got even better than I've done before. Against more people's turn order. Just get ready to spam. Make sure you're spamming your ult on Clara. I want to protect up here. Not so fast. It'd be very nice if we could have gone an extra turn with Robin. I hope for an to strike oh, we can. Okay, that's perfect. So what you're gonna do is just see which one you can. Can you advance one of these mobs forward? You can. Any of them. That's perfect. So what you're gonna do is hit this mob. Let this mob attack Clara, and then we immediately ult with Robin. <laughs> See you later. Right. I'm 
This is when we advance everyone's turn forward. Oh. That was very sad, by the way. That was very sad. We could have had Robin's turn, but she took so much dot damage because there's two of these guys on the field. Uh, um, what I would normally do is heal Robin here, but since the term's about the end anyway, um, it's we just gotta like break one of these dudes. Can we advance for any of these guys. Oh, okay, we can advance for this guy. Okay, perfect. Robin's dead. Robin's dead here, but we're like at the end of the turns from end of this point, so. Ready. But that was honestly my best run, and I did make I said one mistake. Um but yeah, we got that's the high score I've gotten. This side's an easy 40k if you're using this team, so I would not be concerned. There, you can see. We got, I got 34k. Might have been able to get 35 if Tobaz actually lived through the dots as well. Um, but it is what it is. Make a wish. Um, always use Akron, it's not Kafka. Akron just does way more damage than Kafka for her technique. Okay, I must have made up how easy it was to get 40k with this team. That's possible, but it looks like you need, might need to do a few reruns, depending on who gets hit. That's really just what happens. It's the RNG of which character gets hit ruins the easiness of this fight. Okay. I don't have any healer. Okay, last run that you guys did not see. They all decided to hit Black Swan, so she died very quickly. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Hopefully they don't all focus one unit. Memories are beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Good times, time to say bye. Boom. May as well kill. That's half the work. Dusted for oblivion. Just focus the dog. Yeah, wave one, make sure you just use Black Swan's skill instead of her basic attack because the gumball machines will give you your skill points back. You don't have to worry. You... I'll just hold here. I mean, look how much damage we're doing over all 630,000. The Kafka's ult's gonna do a lot of damage too. We should kill them all. They have 382,000. And we're on the next phrase. So we're at three skill points, so we're actually gonna basic attack here. Um, this guy is one out of. We even get enough. Um, I'm just seeing. We're, because again, you're attacking guys, they're gonna advance forward. So it's like, do we do the dinosaur? Uh, Because he's only five out of six stacks, so he's gonna actually hit me. Very sad. There's more to life. <laughs> Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Let me just get Every your field up. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Okay, please focus. We're on me. She has like five K health. Oh, okay, box one's okay. Yeah, ideally that's who you want to hit. Okay, so we're gonna hit Frog here. And then we're gonna ult. The ult will kill everyone on the field. The Converse War Hog, obviously. He's the main boss up here. And ult of Kafka. Personally, he puts the French Fred on us, which is very not nice of him, but. Uh, he's at 5 out of 6 stacks, so he's gonna hit us. Very sad. We'll break all the small ads on the field, though. They should die because of it, though. Um, just hit you. Stand still. We're gonna do this. A 
Another still broken begins. again. And this will give us Acheron ult. Perfect, another dinosaur spawns in. We're gonna advance forward its action now. It's a little sad, but. Please don't kill Kafka. Okay, we're good. good times. Time to say bye. Hopefully this will this should kill the small ads. Yeah. Oh, there's two more. Hey, okay, this where Aug is uh, lived. Okay, please just hit Ru on May. Okay, go, 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 good. Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. There's just so many ads. It's, we gotta focus the ads this time. <laughs> it's fine. Didn't hurt. Destiny okay. isn't chosen. Um, I want to advance forward the dinosaur. I'm gonna be uh, honest with you. Relax. Okay. We should be fine. You know, Kafka is dead here. Honestly, that's like the best Free candidate will, you could have chosen. We gotta get. What do you want to and I weep for the there we go. The grand ending. We finished <laughs> Warog <laughs> off. The Vacron's all. Can we do uh, 1.2 million damage to him? Very nice. <laughs> is that 1% HP? And we just do 1.2 million damage. So yeah. Um, I'll show the first side that we did the first run because I actually got like close to 35,000. Um, but I believe if you had a better healer, you could get 40,000 quite easily. Specifically, Event Train is going to be your best option for the first side. Then Huoho is your second best option. Then eh, actually Gallagher may be better than Luocha because at least Gallagher advances forward. Eh, maybe. It depends, actually. Because Luocha's ult is also an AoE ult. But with Gallagher, but they both use the same skill points. Uh, honestly... And uh, they're probably about equal. Uh, Gallagher, the thing is with him is you, uh, when you use your ult, you get like your bonus turn up. And if you just use your basic attack, you get an extra skill point. So it allows you to be a little bit more flexible with your skill point. But Luocha never needs to like use his skill or like just heal people automatically. So it might be fine. If, if you have E1 Luocha, obviously use Luocha instead of Gallagher. There's no question about that. Um... Otherwise, yeah, I, I think I've recommended every team options. Again, sorry about not getting ADK this time. I think this was more of a character gap than a, uh, really than a knowledge gap, in my opinion. I, I just don't have the characters to get node one to 40k. Maybe if my Himiko is built a bit better, because my Himiko is not built at all. It might be possible, but I think it's, it's really just not having a good, um, uh, extra healer sustain unit. Like Fushuen, I do have... But it's she's quantum, and even then, it's like she doesn't really do she like she doesn't put dots on people, which is like the whole thing with the side. That's why I use Gallagher instead. Fushuan would increase everyone's crit rate. I but my crit rate for my team's pretty good. Claire is a little, it's like 70, which is fine. I mean, Topaz is at 85, so it's already quite high, so it's not like I really need it. For her obviously it's not 100 so any crit rate is still good but yeah Let, hopefully this guy as you can see i got three stars even if it's not a perfect adk run i i believe i've given you the knowledge though to get adk if you have the right characters though so yeah let me know or if this helped you at all or if you are struggling for recommendations feel free to put in the comments below i will i call on anyone who says oh i don't have x character who should i use instead hopefully i've you have enough advice in the video that you don't need to ask that, but if you feel like you still need to, I will obviously comment or respond to your comment. So yeah, um, I hope to see you at, I'll do stage three in a few days.